The streets of Colombo are full of color after months of gloom. There's some joy for Sri Lankans as hundreds and thousands of citizens took to the streets to celebrate Gotabaya Rajapaksa's resignation. The compatriots danced, handed out sweets, embraced each other and waved the national flag to express their victory. We are waiting for him to also go home as we speak now. So next slogan most definitely will be Ronil Go Home 2022. I'll promise you that. So we are starting a new fight tomorrow with new hope. But of course we are going to have some fun and celebrate while doing that. Definitely. Meanwhile, the Sri Lankan government is yet to formally announce the former president's exit, which will be done after verifying the legality of the resignation letter that the speaker received on Thursday. However, Lankans are already celebrating their victory, as his ouster took almost 100 days of relentless protest in the island nation. Gotama Rajapaksa, the former president of Sri Lanka, who is now in Singapore, resigned after reaching his safe heaven. Now, he was due to resign on July 13th, but he wanted to first assure his safe exit from the crisis-hit country. Gotabaya had fled the country after protesters stormed his palace on July 9th, seeking his resignation with chants of Go, Gota, Home, Go. Now, after months-long protest against island nations' ongoing economic woes, the citizens claimed that the Rajapaksas, once the most powerful family of Sri Lanka, were responsible for steering the country into the current crisis. The agitators have now vacated the presidential palace, which was early occupied by them. The festive flavor in the cash-strapped nation comes after a long political and economic struggle. The island nation is battling unprecedented economic crisis after exhausting its economic reserves that have stopped the imports of even basic commodities like medicines, fuel, Sri Lanka is now eyeing a bailout from International Monetary Fund to battle its economic woes.